Lee, it's good to good to see you back, looking fit and well. How, how has it been, kind of, um, you know, coming back from, kind of, I guess, being kind of integrated back into the squad and getting back to the, the normal routine? Yeah, I think um, towards the end of last season, I was doing double sets with myself and then slowly getting back into it with the sports science guys and then, you know, the start of pre-season was tough, um, but as is every pre-season really. Um, but it was just great to be, you know, back on the pitch with the boys and back in amongst it. How hard was it being away? Very, you know, very lonely at times. And um, without the without the help of the, the club, friends, family, and support that I had, um, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here now. So, you know, it's a massive thank you to them. Uh, it's been a long, difficult road, but you know, thankfully there's there's light at the end of the tunnel. You've been quite open um, that, that you were struggling with with depression. Can you? Can you give us a, a bit more insight into that, if you don't mind me asking? Just was there a kind of um, a kind of key factor that, that kind of sparked this, or was it a kind of a, 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 a slow drip, if you like? What what, what kind of um, yeah, I think I you realise that you needed to. to I touched on it um, after the first pre-season game when, when I was asked, and it was just a like a, like you said a, a slow drip that was building up, building up, um, and Brendan Rodgers he, he seen that, and that's when he stepped in. Um, so another thank you to him um, because if you know I never stepped in, who knows where I've been. Um, but I'm trying to look forward now and, and be positive, and you know I'm glad to be back in the part of getting minutes under my belt and and try to look forward to the season ahead. You talk about Brendan Rodgers and Neil Lennon, obviously is now the manager, and he is someone obviously that that can uh, I, I suppose completely understand where you've been and where you want to get to. Um, how big a help has he been, and I guess how how delighted were you that that he. Is the man that's going to be, you know, kind of managing you here? Yeah, you know, when he got the job, it was, you know, a big relief for me because he's somebody that, you know, has went through it himself. Um, and if I had to turn to somebody to, to go to any advice or ask him questions or just go and speak to somebody, then he'd be the he'd be the man to do it. Um, but you know, he came, he gave me kind of a clean slate and said, look, this this season's a new season. Go and do what you can do. Go and show everybody that you can still be a top player, and that's what I aim to do. Well, in terms of you want to look forward. What safeguards are in place in terms of freedom from yourself in case something builds up again, so that you, you know to put your hand up and ask for help? Um, just trying to be a bit more open, not keep stuff in, um, and just and just speak to people, regardless who it is, teammates, coaches, you know, PR people, whoever it is, somebody at the club that you want to speak to, and just try and open up. And, and if you've got something on your mind, say it, because ultimately I, I could be back in the same place and I don't want to be there. Do you think footballers and maybe young men don't do that enough? Yeah, I think, you know, looking at what's happening in society nowadays, I think a lot of people are, you know, taking their own life and maybe if they, if they open up and speak a little bit, then, you know, it, it can save lives. Um, so anybody that's, uh, that's suffering and they want to, you know, speak to somebody, you know, just open up, speak to anybody, you know, there's a lot of people out there that'll help. The reaction you seem to have got from, from fans and from fans and other clubs as well, has that been a benefit to you as well, looking how much you're revered and when I mean, you're back on the field in the last couple of games, has that really hit home? Yeah, of course, not just Celtic fans, but, you know, fans all over, you know, Scotland, you know, rival rival fans that, you know, <laughs> see me as that rogue on the pitch, but, you know, I take my way for that. I'm just a, a family man that tries to look after my family um, and, you know, they've all been supportive. Um, and again, another thank you to them. It's nice to see that you know they can put football rivalry aside. How tough has it been in terms of match fitness? Because you said you were doing double sessions and you can be fit, but actually out on the field, how tough has it been? Yes, yeah, you know I said that before that you can run on the treadmill as much as you want, but it's, it's never going to get you match fit. You know, and the only way you're going to get that is by you know training with the boys and, and getting minutes under your belt. You know, the the minutes I did get, you know, I'm grateful and hopefully there's a lot more to come. You know, I'm, I'm still not at top fitness yet but you know I'm, I'm not far away and you know the, the more minutes I get into my belt the more training I can do the more it's going to help me in good stead. It was quite the reception you got on Wednesday when you came on what was that moment like for you? Incredible um, I think I was speaking when I kept man he said it was one of the best receptions he's ever heard um, and it you know it just hit me didn't, the hairs in the back of my neck stand up but you know mm -hmm. it has has been a moment I've been waiting for for a long long time you know a pack Celtic pack coming on and you know, make a marathon, but you know it's gone me now, and you know what I mean. I look forward. Is that something that's really driven you on? Yeah, it's not just not just sell a part, just to get back on a football pitch and, and start kicking a ball about again. You know, it'll be even better when I, when I start scoring goals in competitive matches. Were you nervous when you were about to come on that? Was it, was it like almost like starting it again and 
as a young young guy coming into that pitch because it's been a while and you maybe weren't sure what the, the reception would be that that good. Yeah, it was a little bit. You know, the manager, um, you know, said to me just before and said, "Look, you've worked hard. You you deserve to be back here um, and go and do what you do." Um, so you know, that's, hopefully that's just the first of many appearances this season. Neil had said that he feels that you're capable of now going on and making a significant impact this season. Do you feel you're you're fit and ready, ready to go, and, and can make that significant impact? He was talking about. Yeah, I mean, this has come from the man that brought me to the club. He knows what I can do. You know, a lot of people know what I can do. It's just about getting them opportunities. You know, I can't really shift shift Odson just now because he's playing out with his skin. He's doing really well. Um, and for a guy so young to to play so many games and, and consecutive running games, you know, he's been brilliant. Um, and hopefully, you know, as the season goes on, we can strike up that partnership to to go and play to it front. Well, the manager said that last week. He said that long term that could be an option. Do you feel that? Both your games suit each other to play up top yeah. yeah, I think so. I think the big man likes to come in, get the ball to feet and, and uh, get turned and run at people. And, you know, I like to I like to go in behind and stretch defences. So I think, you know, it, it works. But you can't just, you know, throw us in straight away. You need, we need to work on that in training. And, you know, that's something the manager, if he wants to do that, will need to do in the training pitch. What's your aim for the rest of the season? Um, first and foremost, the, cl- the club. I want to get the club to the Champions League. You know, I've got a good record in these these qualifiers, of scoring goals, big goals. Um, so hopefully, I get the chance to do that, and then you know, try and play as many minutes as possible. It's it's been a long, it is a long season. You know, boys like Callum McGregor playing six third games last season. Um, you know, I want to play as many minutes as I can, not just for my club but my country as well. Um, we've got big massive games coming up and I want to be a part of that. And with that in mind then what's your expectations for Wednesday night? Difficult game. Um, we need we need to make the home advantage count and we need to look forward, play positively, play on the front foot and try and take a sizable lead over there. Um, we always know that our way, our way leg's always difficult. Um, but boys know that we think we've got enough call in the squad over the two legs to get through. Do you feel there's even more to come for you because obviously the problems that you had off the pitch they must have, were they affecting you on the pitch, your performance? Is that something now that you've, you're addressing them and you've addressed them that you feel that you can you can play with more freedom and, and enjoy football? Yeah, I think towards you know the end of November, December time, I think you know my, my performance has really dipped, and I think Brendan's seen that as well. Um, and that was a lot of things getting on top of me, but you know I've got a clearer mind now. You know I'm still not fully over it. You know I'm still speaking to people, but you know I've got a clearer mind and, and what I want to do and how I want to approach things and go forward. And you know the help of the club and my teammates, you know, get through it. Well, apart from time away, are you able to, to tell us what else that you they did to, to try and kind of get get through your battles? Have you have been talking to professionals and that sort of thing? So. Yeah, um, you know I've been speaking to professionals, working with people at the club. You know every 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 week I'm. You know, on the phone, I'm making sure I'm okay, making sure things are, are right going forward in my life, and you know, like I say, I'm, I'm enjoying being back in with the boys and, and trying to get my fitness up to, to peak level. Do you feel you're a bit of a role model? I mean, obviously on the pitch you're a role model, but but what, you know, kind of you know, standing up and kind of being very open about your feelings, as, as you alluded to there, that maybe not a lot of young men do that. Do you feel that people can actually look at you and say, right, Lee Griffiths has done it, so now we can do it as well? Yeah, I don't think I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself a role model, but you know, people that. It's not just me. There's there's other prof- other sports people that have you know came out and, and said they've been suffering. But Tyson Fury being the biggest one, you know, he's came back and he's you know world world heavyweight champion after being out um, for such a long time. So you know he he said that if he can go and be where he was in a dark dark place and come back and, and win a world heavyweight championship, then you know that's that's out there for people to speak out. And if you speak out, you know they both save lives. You talk about Scotland. Have you spoken? Obviously, the new manager there as well. Have you spoken to, to Steve Clark? And, and I haven't spoken to him, no. Um, and I'm hoping to just, you know, get minutes under my belt for Celtic. Play, play as well as I can. And if the next squad's announced in a minute, then then great. You know, we'll have a chat when we get there. But you know, if, you know, my phone's always on. If he wants to give me a call and, and speak about things, so <laughs> you know, it's an open invitation. <laughs> uh, you spoke about obviously uh, Wednesday night, and I, I know that that hurdles to come first. But you'll have seen the draw. It's either Cluj or Maccabi. Uh, uh, tell Eve and then in the next round, um, are you able to kind of give us your thoughts? Obviously, if you get through, what, what your your hopes would be for for the third qualifying round? Difficult again, you know. It's always difficult, you know, trying to negotiate through through four ties. But first and foremost, when you try and get through this one, you know, not a lot of people have heard of the Stony Inside, and you know, I'm sure they'll be well drilled and 
and they were thinking they can come here and get a, a big result. But like I said to you earlier, that you know the boys in the, the dressing room think we've got more than enough quality to get through the the two legs. And if we do that, then we've got another difficult tie. You know, Clouds have been Champions League regulars for for a number of years now. And, you know, Maccabi Tel Aviv, probably the biggest club in in Israel. You know, Nina will have his spies over there to to see what what they're about. Um, but you know, we need to look forward to Wednesday next week and make sure we get the job done.